What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome to my channel subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Pisces, and you enjoy my content, if you can ring a little bell and find my soul tribe, I super, super appreciate saying, saying, saying. This is a weekly reading for Sign of Pisces. This is the of your Pisces in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, and Midhaven, Jupiter. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply, everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you guys. Um, I apologize that the weekly reading is late. I had every intention to do it on October 20th, but I got arrested, uh, as everybody knows. Uh, so it kind of delayed me a few days, but I'm back now. Just saying, just saying. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. I do. And if you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. All right. I got a few uh, channeled in as I was meditating on your um, week four reading uh, for the sign of Pisces. And the first one I received was a cancer is about to relay very important information to uh, governmental entity agency energy. That was the first one. The second one I heard a Scorpio is about to stand up in a huge way. Um, that was the second one. And the third one I heard a Libra is about to betray a Pisces in a huge way. So um, you plug that in, however that resonates for you. That could be for you or somebody you're connected to. It's free general reading, so it's very important to only take the messages to resonate. So a cancer is about to relay very important information to governmental entity agency energy. Um, you plug that in, however that resonates. For some, it is your neighbor. For some, it is an ex-lover. For some, it is someone in your hometown. Okay, so you plug that in, how, how that resonates. Um, I'm assuming that goes with the cancer, because we're talking about the cancer. So uh, for, some of you, for some of you guys, this cancer grew up in your home, or lives in your hometown. They live in your hometown. For some, it's an ex-lover, and for some, it is a... Um, um oh well, neighbor for some a neighbor some ex-lover and for some it's someone that lives in your hometown so it doesn't mean that you live in your hometown you know where you grew up um uh, but they do they do so you plug that in how that resonates for you um that's for the cancer energy i'm presuming and then i heard um a scorpio is about to stand up in a huge way so, you know, energies can be reversed. So that could be a Scorpio standing up to you, excuse me, or standing up to someone else um, or standing up for person, place, family, situation, or organization. You plug that in, however that resonates, but this, you're pulling in a Scorpio in your uh, weekly reading. So they're significant in your life in some shape or more fashion if that resonates for you. And um, for some, this is an ex. For some, this is a position of high authority in the community. Okay. Okay. For some of you guys, the Scorpio is an ex. And for some, it's a position, position of high authority in the community. In some shape, form, or fashion. So this is the Scorpio that's about to stand up for, um, stand up for something. Um, person, people, place, family, situation, organization. You plug it in how it fits. And then, um... What was the other one? Oh, a Libra is about to betray uh, a Pisces. <clears throat> to cover their ass. But it's not going to work. Okay, I heard co to cover their ass, but it's not going to work. So the Libra is going to betray you, Pisces, if this resonates with you. I heard to cover their ass, but I heard it's not going to work. Um, so you plug that in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you, dear God Almighty. Ace of Cups reverse, the Hangwoman reverse. Gavin, come on. A particular community hoe is getting no business anymore. They have been very, very, very publicly exposed. It really pisses this community hoe off in a huge way. A particular Pisces is about to 
expose this community hope. And report fraud and theft. Okay, so you plug it in, however that resonates. Dear God. We we were pulling community hell energy in here very strong about a week ago. So you you have to plug yourself in however you resonate in here. Um, I hope you're not the community hoe, but somebody is. So you might be the community hoe. You might be the one exposing the community hoe. You have to plug yourself in this situation however you resonate if you do. So I heard um, a community hoe has been exposed, basically. They've been exposed. They're not getting any business. Um, little to none business, I'm presuming. And I heard it really pisses off this community hoe. Like I said, for some, it possibly could be you. Or you could be the one expo help that helped expose the community hoe. But there's one particular Pisces in here, and it sounds like a high vibrational Pisces that's about to um, contact somebody regarding this community hoe and expose them as far and expose fraud and theft. So this community hoe is not only everybody in the, the community knows them sexually, but they have also frauded and theft, thefted person, people, place, or situation. So you plug that in, however that resonates. Um, go with your bad self, high vibrational Pisces, if that resonates with you. And like I said, um, like I explained many times previous, vibrations has nothing to do with money. You, money can always be earned and gained. Vibrations is how you treat people. Honesty, truth, integrity, respect, loyalty, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so this high vibrational Pisces is going to expose the community hoe um, because they apparently ex exuberate these values. Um, and they're going to expose the community hoax. They're a thief and a frauder. They have frauded one person, several people, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And they not only that, but not only that, but they go around and the whole damn community knows them sexually. So, yeah, dear God Almighty. So, um, Ace of Cups Reverse, this community hoe is not getting any um, business. No new opportunities. Um, no new client energy. Hold on a second. And um, this community hoe is not going within, not self, um, no, it's not really being aware of themselves and the situation. They're a huge frauder, a huge thief. And um, the high vibrational Pisces is aware of this. Their intuition is peaked, and that's why they're exposing this community hoe. Uh, I, I'm feeling for some of these situations, the community hoe might be a Pisces. Um, and I'm just being serious about that, uh, possibly. But you have to plug that in your life however it resonates, if it does resonate. Strong community hope energy. Yeah, buddy. Not right now. I'm in the middle of reading. You have to wait till I'm done. You need to let me know when you're done with that kitchen side and check it. Okay? Huh? Well, are you done? Are you ready for me to check it? Huh? Okay. Okay. Fear messed this year. I was not a baby. The FBI is about to get involved in a very serious matter very soon in a particular community. It's going to really make one Pisces very happy and really make one Pisces very mad. It's going to shock this community, but it shouldn't shock them. They should have known it was coming. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. FBI energy in here. So I heard, um, I heard the FBI. So FBI, like Federal Bureau of Investigations, um, that's United States. For I know I have people on here on different in different countries, and I love you guys. But apparently, this is United States energy. Um, FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigations. I heard is about to get involved in one particular community. One Pisces is. Uh, I'm assuming that high vibrational Pisces I've been pulling in possibly is going to be very happy about this. Um, for some, this high vibrational Pisces might be calling, might be the one calling the FBI, possibly, um, or somebody they're connected to, possibly. 
And then one low vibrational Pisces can be very upset that the FBI is involved. But I heard the community should have known it was coming um, because there was some very serious situation that was occurring in the community. And now the FBI is getting involved. I wonder if it's Secret 7 related. I'm just saying, I wonder if it is, but you plug it in, how it resonates. If it does resonate in your life, I didn't hear Secret 7 in here, but it makes me wonder. The world upright. A particular Pisces is about to move states very soon, losing a lot of money quickly where they're at. Some Pisces will get out soon. Some will be stuck in heavy, heavy, heavy legal matters. Okay, so you plug that in however it resonates, if that resonates with you. So if this resonates for you, Pisces, you're about to move, um, you're about to move areas, locations, states, countries, possibly you plug it in how it resonates, but you're moving. Sounds like far. Um, because you're losing money and a lot of it, um, not a pinnacles reverse, negative nine, negative 10, that negative 10, negative 10 is the day, day, day bankruptcy. So you're losing a lot of money wherever you're at. Maybe cost of living's too high. Maybe your rent's too high. Maybe your mortgage too high. Maybe you're not getting paid enough hourly or bonuses or they're just not, it's just not enough. Um, but you're losing money. You're, it sounds like you're, you're, what you want in life, you spend too much compared to what you make, basically, is what it sounds like here. Um, but you're going to, whoever this is for, you're going to move. You're going. You're deciding you're going to move far locations um, to see, you know, to get a better job, hopefully get um, better cost of living, um, and make your financial situation better, which absolutely, that makes sense. But it sounds like several of you guys is about to plan to do this. All right, some of you guys will will succeed, and it sounds like you're about to do it quickly. Cycle change, world upright, cycle change quickly. Um, go in your favor, not in your favor. But some, I heard, are going to be stuck unexpectedly with heavy, heavy, heavy legal matters. Um, and it sounds like negative legal matters. Um, and, but some will make it out. So you plug it in, however it resonates. But you want to move because you're, you're losing money like nobody's business. For some, this could be the community hoe energy. And I hate to say that, but I'm just being real real. Um, and in some, some, I'm sure for a lot of you guys, it's not, but I, I strongly feel like community hope might be a Pisces. I'm just saying for some, but for the others, um, it's not, you're just not making enough hourly. You're not getting bonuses, incentives. You're just not, you spend too much to what you make basically. Um, and I don't blame you. Um, but cycle change, you're about to cycle change it fast. You are about to take the initiative and cycle change it. But for some, you're about to be stuck unexpectedly with heavy legal matters. So you plug that in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. A particular Pisces is about to stand up in a huge way for fire sign feminine. Against the water sign. Feminine, feminine. Okay, so you, uh, high vibrational Pisces. <clears throat> okay, heard a high vibrational Pisces is about to stand up to a, um, to, um, stand up for a fire sign femme against a water sign femme. Um, so if this resonates with you, high vibrational Pisces, you're about to stand up for a fire sign femme, an Aries, Leo, Sag, feminine energy against a water sign femme, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, femme energy. Um, you plug that in, however it resonates, and you are standing up for the fire sign. I, I guess this um, this is a low vibrational water sign femme, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They might be gossiping about this person, slandering this person, defamation of character of this person, uh, probably just running this person into the mud verbally, probably. Um, or they might be, they might be one that stole and frauded this person possibly, but you're about to stand up in a huge way for the fire sign. Now, however, you're going to stand up for the person that really could be a million different ways for a million different people. It could be a phone call. 
it could be making go go public it could just be standing up against the fire sign i mean against the water sign it could i mean you plug it in how it resonates however that resonates joey crystal carly christy Joey, Crystal, Carly, Christy. Chris. Susan. Susie. Chris, Susan, and Susie. Jason. Jaquita, Jason and Jaquita, Sherilyn, Sherry, Sherilyn and Sherry, Kingston, Carl, Kingston and Carl as well, Kingston and Carl. So um, you plug those names how, in how they resonate. It could be your name, somebody you're connected to's name, a first name, a middle name, a last name, um, a nickname. Um, you plug that in however that resonates or that resonates for you. Um, we'll get an oracle card, then we'll close it. Spirit messages you have for sign of Pisces. A Pisces is about to experience very heavy fraud in their life. Someone is about to fraud them that they never thought would fraud them. It's about to really, really upset them and change their perspectives on things in the past. Water sign energy, Tauran energy. Okay, so you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates with you. Heard a um, Pisces is about to get frauded by someone, um, a magical energy in their life that they never thought they would get um, frauded by. Um, I heard ma uh, masculine water sign energy, masculine foreign. So you have to plug those energies in however they resonate. And we got the masculine energy out when I was um, shuffling. So Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine and a Taurin masculine. They could have Cancer Pisces Scorpio or Taurus in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or could have been with Jupiter. But this person, <coughs> excuse me. This person is about to fraud you, um, and you never thought in a million years they would, um, but they are. So it could be a toxic family member, a lover, past lover, um, a neighbor, toxic neighbor, um, a frenemy, a co-worker, etc., etc., etc. But I heard you never thought they would have. They would have in a million years, but they're about to. And once you find this out, that they frauded you in some shape, form, or fashion, I heard it's going to change your perspective of things in the past of some kind of situation that happened in the past, either to you or somebody you're connected to. Um, but it's a masculine energy about the fraud you. It could be a Taurus, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. So you plug it in however that resonates. Number 42 could be very significant. Number 42. Also number 38, number 34, number 37. Okay, also number 40, 38, 40, uh, and 37. So you plug that in how it resonates. And 34, and 34. And 30, 22, 24. And 30, 22, and 24. So 30, 22, and 24 as well. Um, that, that could be ages of you or somebody you're connected to. It could be um, possible lottery numbers. It could be possible um, date of birth numbers. <coughs> excuse, me. excuse me. Green card numbers. Um, Social security number. Um, it could be a um, any kind of significant number, any shape, form, or fashion. It could be reoccurring numbers you're seeing out on billboards or advertisements. 
um, however that resonates in your life. The masculine, An investigator is about to be very significant in a Pisces life soon. As is a very controlling partner. And an ex. And an ex-client. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, um, if that resonates with you. I heard a very controlling masculine energy is about to be... Um, part of your life soon you can be masculine or femme but it's a very controlling masculine about to be a part of your life soon for some of you guys i heard it is a ex for some it's a current partner for some it is a client or a former client and for some it's an investigator so heavy masculine energy um controlling masculine energy for some of you guys now the investigator energy i don't feel would be controlling they're just coming to, to question you um but i feel the energy of the um, um, possibly the current partner, the ex possibly, um, um, and maybe a former client or a current client, especially if it's community ho energy, possibly. Um, I'm just, I mean, I'm just being for real. For real. Um, we're pulling in prostitution very strong in here. And we have been for about a month or two. So to me, that is a possibility. I, I'm just being for real. If you don't resonate with prostitution, you don't resonate with prostitution. But reality is we have been pulling it in. So you have to plug it in your life however it resonates. Um, but very controlling masculine energy. A Pisces is about to have a very huge wake-up call on a Gemini masculine as well. About to relay very important information to an investigator about a Gemini masculine. It's going to be very useful and helpful to the investigator. Okay, so you plug it in however that resonates. Wow. Investigator energy coming in strong in your reading, Pisces. So if this resonates with you, um, you're going to be dealing with this investigator. They will, I'm assuming they're going to come and question you. And um, you're going to relate information I heard on a very um, controlling masculine Gemini masculine. We've got masculine energy in here strong. I feel for some of you guys, the investigator is going to be masculine or because, you know, energy is reverse. So it can either be a masculine um, for all those um, categories I heard from spirit, or it could be a feminine energy that takes on heavy, heavy masculine. So for some, it could actually be a person that has penis parts, or it could be a femme that just takes on very heavy masculine energy. So you have to plug this person in your life, however they resonate. If they do resonate um, but heavy ma uh, investigator energy either a masculine energy with penal parts or a femme energy that just takes on heavy masculine energy um, but investigator energy strong i heard you're going it sounds like they're going to question you and you are going to reveal very um important information on a i heard a gemini masculine very controlling gemini masculine and it's going to be very useful to the investigators so heavy Gemini masculine energy in here. They could have Gemini in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Benhanger, Jupiter, if that resonates with you. Let me see if I hear anything else. A Pisces is very, very regretful of the past, and they're about to help turn it around in a very positive way for a fire sign feminine. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a Pisces is very regretful of the past, and they're about to help it, help turn it around in a very positive way for a fire sign femme. You're pulling in a very um, a, a fire sign femme very strong in here, Pisces. Um, Aries Leo Sag femme. So you're very regretful of something that happened in the past with this fire sign fam or to this fire sign fam or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But you're about to turn it around in a positive way for the fire sign fam, the Aries Leo Sag fam. I think the investigator has a lot to do with this. Uh, for some of you guys, I do. But you plug it in how that resonates, if that does resonate with you. 
All right, you guys. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your social media and um, word of mouth. I'd appreciate it. Love you guys. Namaste.